Hello everyone, hope you are right. In today's video, I'm going to plant this beautiful plastic planter I have got here. Although this is a plastic planter, but this is like double layered and it's quite um, durable and lightweight as well. Uh, and it has got a beautiful design on the outside and it's like bright blue color. So it will really stand out in any garden. So I'm going to do a garden in a pot theme. So basically I'm going to do few edible plants and few flowering plants in this whole container. This is like 40 centimeter diameter and it can hold up to like uh, 25 liters of soil. And I have added multipurpose compost in it and I'm making sure that there are no big lumps in it. So it's really important to use a good quality compost or potting mix in your container gardening and you should not use the soil from your garden um, which will be heavy and not good for container gardening because it can be quite compact and the plants can struggle in it. So I'm filling up the container with multi-purpose compost which I use for all my container gardening and now I'm going to add slow release fertilizer in it which will feed the plants and will help them establish quickly so I have added a handful of fish blood and bone which is rich has high phosphorus and potassium content and also this um, general fertilizer which has a little bit more nitrogen and it also has like uh, micronutrients like iron and magnesium and manganese which will help the plants to establish fast uh, i'm doing this part for a charity event so basically the i want to make sure the person who buys it doesn't have to take a lot of care so it's like low maintenance container and I just want them to water it and put it in a sunny location and just keep an eye on it and enjoy the fruits of this container. So first thing I'm going to put in this container is this tomato plant. This is indeterminate variety and this is salad tomato really yummy and crunchy tomatoes which you can eat fresh as a salad. I have grown this from seeds. and. Uh, as you can see it's already nice and big and it has got first set of blooms already and uh, i'm also going to add a nasturtium plant in it i also grew this nasturtium plant from seed and it also established really well and um, basically the idea is to incorporate a few flowering plants which will help in companion planting basically they will like uh, make the container look good with all those lovely blooms so you can enjoy blooms throughout the summer as well as they will also act as natural pesticides so this is an organic container i have raised these plants organically like using compost and organic fertilizers and uh, i haven't sprayed them with anything and basically you don't need to spray in the plants with anything unless there is quite serious issue uh, normally you can tackle most of the issues by using natural things like companion planting works well so basically nasturtium is really good companion plant and i'm also going to plant this strawberry plant in it this strawberry plant i grew from a runner from a strawberry plant which i had last year so this is also my own homegrown strawberry plant and um, it also has got some fruit on it so this strawberry plant will be a perennial plant so it will come back next year if this strawberry plant is overwintered properly and now i'm going to put a couple of nuts zinnias in it so i grew these zinnias from seeds as well i have done a video where i grew zinnias from seed nasturtiums from seeds so i have got lots of videos on my channel where i have started lots of plants from seeds flowering and vegetable plants so i will highly recommend please check it check it out it's a playlist uh, which is how to grow from seeds so it's really informative and really good guide for beginners so uh, these zinnia plants are like um, 
four to inches four to six inches now but they can grow like four to six feet tall and nasturtium is like a climbing and trailing plant so it will trail over the container you can also put a trellis to support it and uh, it can grow huge tomato plant is indeterminate so it will grow like six to seven feet tall and uh, i will stake it as well and now i have put a marigold plant which i also started from seed and it is uh also has got a bud on it so this marigold plant will grow like one to two feet and strawberry is a perennial plant it grows like one feet tall and wide and basically this planter will last through summer if taken care properly like good watering and a sunny location where it gets like six to eight hours of sun and then tomato plants will um be producing in august and september and the flowering plants will be blooming throughout the summer and then there will um, be only um strawberry plant left in this container so this is looking absolutely beautiful really beautiful container i think this will be a really good container for a beginner gardener as it has got a couple of um, edible plants and flowering plants and basically i think all these plants complement each other really well and this really fulfills the theme of garden in a pot so hope you like this video please leave your feedback in comments i won't be able to share the updates on this container because this is for a charity event and i won't have it throughout this summer but from my experience i can see that it will do all right so let me know what do you think whether it's a good idea to put these plants together in a container and if you do want to try please try it and let me know about your experience how did it go and basically i'm really loving this container at the moment the container itself is really beautiful and like beautiful bright blue and really a statement pot which will stand out in a garden and with all these lovely plants once they are in bloom and full of fruit i think it's look gonna look absolutely beautiful and lovely so if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos and thank you very much for watching see you next time bye